Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crib sheet. Um, I know sometimes it can be difficult finding the perfect crib sheet for your nursery for the design that you had in mind or the way you wanted the nursery to look. Um, so a good way to get what you want is just to make it yourself. Um, so this tutorial is pretty simple. So if you wanna learn how to do that, go ahead and follow along. Okay, so first gather your supplies. You're gonna need two yards of fabric. Um, I use knit for mine, but you can use whatever fabric you'd like. It needs to at least be 44 inches wide uh, for this. And then for your elastic, you'll just need two and a half yards of that. Um, and I used a quarter inch elastic. You can use quarter inch, you can use half inch, whatever you have or would like to use. All right, so I got my fabric marker and I'm gonna start marking out. So you're gonna cut out a rectangle that is 44 inches by 68 inches. So I'm just making a few markings here so that um, it's easier for me to cut out that 44 by 68 inches. So after I have it all marked up, I'm just gonna start cutting. All right, so after that's cut out, you're gonna start um, folding that up about a quarter of an inch. So I have my seam gauge here and I'm just folding it up and making sure that it is folded at a quarter of an inch. So just keep on going around and clipping. All right, so after that's done, you're just gonna sew across that fold using a straight stitch. Okay, so now grab, um, cut out a eight by eight square, and you're gonna place that on each corner, right at that corner, match it up, and you're gonna cut out that square. I'm using my rotary cutter, you can use whatever you have. Okay, once that's done, you'll repeat that with the three other uh, corners. Now grab those corners and you are going to flip it over and match up those edges. Add some clips to it. And then you'll just sew across for all four corners. Okay, so now we're gonna add on our elastic. Like I said, you need two and a half yards. You won't use all of it, but most of it. So you're gonna need to set your machine to a zigzag stitch and then increase your length of the stitch to 2.5. Okay, so put your elastic right on top of that fold that you made, right on top of that um, raw edge. You're gonna place it under your foot and then you're gonna start by doing a little bit of back stitching and then continue to sew. Once you got that on back stitch, you are gonna stretch that elastic as much as it will stretch, laying it right on top of that raw edge. Continue to sew and stretch. Okay, so once you start getting towards the end, slow down a little bit. You're gonna see your beginning here and you're just gonna continue to stretch and you're gonna stretch right over the elastic where you started. Keep on going, keep on stretching until you've uh, made it over and then back stitch. And then um, you can snip that off. And as you can see here, I have a little bit of elastic left over, um, which is totally fine and we're just gonna cut that off. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of overlapped. Looks a little messy, but I'll cut off those strings. But after you're done, it will look like this. Nice and clean, elastic is hiding from those raw edges, and it's all good. You put it on your crib, and it will look like this. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll see you next time.